at that, it's so pretty. This is how you do a simple steam. With a simple, this, you know what this is right here? This is actually one of my old microwave plates. <laughs> yes, can you see in the middle? <laughs> I have these, just all these little gadgets in my kitchen that work better than a lid. Yep. And this is how I steam my beautiful oysters, clams, everything, you name it. Anything you need to steam. This is where I do my magic. Okay guys, the oysters are officially done. It's a dundetta. I'm glad. Look at that. Say hello, baby. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, again, a little bit of that virgin olive oil. And let's go ahead and do these scrambled eggs. And we're doing a, like a fluffy, a nice fluffy look. Okay. And this is it, y'all. Then it's time for the final plating. Put that at a high so we can get the sunken. So just watch that bubble up while I wash this bowl out, and I'll be right there. Here, girl. right spatulas, the right forks, however you want your egg. Um, so that's just, a, that's, I'm just throwing that out there because, you know, it is important to, to prep with love too. If you want your egg to come out a certain way, guess what? You gotta put your arm into it. You gotta work it a little bit. If you want a better taste, you gotta give it some love. So that's always been my key in my kitchen. Everybody, my family, my friends, they ask me, how did you make this or how did you do this? I, I, I tried to do it myself and it didn't come out the way yours did. Well, like I said, you can have all the ingredients in the world on my YouTube channel. You can have everything. But if you do not prep with love or cook with love, it's not going to taste out like mine. Alright? So do you see how fluffy they are now? That's what I'm looking for. Mm, and I could smell that basil. I could smell everything in here. So good. All right. And at this point, I'm just going to shut it down. Look at that. So pretty. Look at that. So that's how you do that. Mm. All right. So that is done. Everything is done in my kitchen, y'all. Everything. Everything is done in my kitchen. Take a look at those fluffy eggs. You can see the basil in them. You can see that raspberry. All that deliciousness. And look at the color, beautiful. All right, so let's do the final plating. 
I'm gonna slice up these avocados and coming up next is the beautiful plating. Please don't miss these videos. Your girl. Okay guys, two more ingredients you're gonna add to this, okay? A little bit of pepper. And this is to the raspberry egg mixed with all that deliciousness. Basil and salt, just like you would do regular eggs. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do the final plating right in front of you guys, okay? So check it out. All right, so I still have my beautiful eggs here. So delicious, like I said, try this at home, y'all. There's a lot of good in here. All right, and you're gonna taste those raspberry, the little teeny mini seeds in the, in the raspberry. Trust me, it's good for the body. So good. All right, so if you look over here, you'll see I have placed two coconuts here, two coconut uh, pieces. I have one on the side because remember I told you guys I'm gonna use this for presentation as well all right so let's check it out I just want you to watch me from here all right and I'm gonna move my plate over in a minute but before I do that the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my delicious raspberry basil eggs on top of that coconut so pretty all right that's the first thing I'm gonna do and I love the coloring because it makes the perfect picture. It makes a perfect presentation. And that's why I love doing these eggs like this when I do a fish. I've done this before. Please check out my YouTube channel. And I think a little fall back there. Put it around the plate. All right. Again, beautiful coloring, okay? And you already have that basil in there. But don't be afraid to add a little bit of chives just to give it a little prettier look. Okay? Just a few. You don't want to do too much because remember, you already have basil in there. Just a few. All right. So, now we're going to get to the beautiful fish. All right. I got to hold my phone for this. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to go for this piece right here. We have lots of lovely pieces here. Okay? So, let me take this knife out. Zip that, it's so beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, so know what you're missing. And again, you're gonna grab, you're gonna grab all that deliciousness is going up in there. All those peppers, green peppers, all that, all around the fish, just like that, so pretty. All right guys, so if you look over here, I'm gonna do, I can't do a flip side, I'm sorry. Did you see over here, I have my tomato, I have the, the shaved coconut, and I also have my haste avocados over here, y'all. All right, so, um, I, I only added the tomato just for a better, prettier color to the plating. All right, sometimes you might wanna do that, and plus, I love tomatoes. So, I'm gonna grab a piece of that, and I'm gonna put it right next to my fish. Look how pretty. All right, and then next, you're gonna add in your lovely, beautiful, absolutely beautiful so delicious y'all look at that look at that plate i'm not done yet <laughs> okay and then we're gonna add that shaved coconut right on top of that just on top of the beautiful zucchini and that lovely dip and then you're gonna go for your avocados and you can add them however you want I mean, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Now, that's what you call a healthy dish. All right, and I'm going to do another plating so you can see very closely. So, let me X this uh, video out so I can go ahead and get this deliciousness right to your camera. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this is the final plating. And I'm not done yet. Remember, we still have the oysters. Oh my goodness. So you're gonna grab some more of that beautiful deliciousness. Okay, because remember, this is a lot of peppers in here and stuff. Goes so good with fish. You're gonna add a little more on the side, y'all. So pretty. And then you're gonna take your lovely oysters. And I'm gonna do one shell down just for presentation. Look at that. And I'm gonna do one shell up. There you have it. Mm, 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 mm. 
you guys don't know what you're missing your girl belinda again up in, up in her kitchen and remember those eggs are so good for you they look funny but guess what they taste really really good and they're really really good for you and sometimes you you want to mix it up you don't want to have a same uh, jane uh, colored egg you know you'd be surprised the things you can mix into eggs and make them look so different so there you have it look at that so so delicious so yummy and i can't wait to sink my teeth into this so i'm gonna let you guys go because i am so ready i worked out today um, oh, let's not forget this. I forgot my other piece here. And give it a little coconut look. Look at that. It's beautiful. And, um, you know, I worked out pretty hardcore today. So when I do those kind of workouts, I like to enjoy something very hearty, healthy, and um, worth everything that I've been putting this body through. So like I said, I'm still trying to do July 4th. Everything's you know go on as planned so hopefully by then uh, we'll be able to share some great great memories me and my family and that's what it's about and I just hope you take notes and like I said if you need me for anything hit me up on my gmail 1950 kiss the cook at gmail.com or you can comment below don't be shy now <laughs> your girl are literally watching me eat today <laughs> all right so you want to take a butter knife you got to take a little butter knife to this zucchini oh my god look at that look at that mm. oh my god you can taste all those flavors in there so so delicious peppers are so good mm. that juice Give it a wonderful picker. And look at the eggs. Let's get to the eggs. Because after this, I'm going to finish eating. Look at those eggs. See the raspberry, the basil? And my mouth is watery. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to get to that other oyster too. So good. Look, that's how you come off. Right off your oyster. That's when you know you've cooked a good oyster. Get that tomato spinning in there with them juices. And I just added the tomatoes towards the end. Um, that's how you eat. You get a bite of everything on your plate. Oh Alright guys, so I'm going to sit and enjoy this. I'm waiting for my daughter to come down. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh my god, you know what you're missing. So good. Mm 
<laughs> all right so i'm gonna finish this up guys i love you guys so much i waited all day for this um a little bit of salt just a little bit on my next oyster just a little bit a little bit all right guys so until next time remember i'm gonna be chefing it up i'm gonna be grilling on Sunday, outside. We had a great time at Virginia Beach. I wish I could have stayed there longer. However, I have important things here at home I need to take care of. So um, we're still gonna have a great, great time. I have a couple, handful of people coming, so please do not miss me. I will not be shuffling anything up until Sunday. And I will be prepping Sunday morning. <laughs> All right, guys, bye. Hey, Dio mio. Mm. Okay guys, you can also take some of that lovely pepper. You want you don't want that to go to waste. That. Mira esto, mira, mira. <laughs> so good. Alright, enough of me eating. Okay guys, this is my daughter's plate. She's going in for the win. <laughs> and this is the coconut. Put some of that on top of the fish for her. So good, guys, so good. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You ready? <laughs> This is for my honey. He does not do shellfish, so only fish. <laughs>